Thank you, Mr. President. The first problem with this budget for 2012 is essentially the fact that it was decided upon in 2006. Before the crisis that we saw in 2008 and 2009, before the sovereign debt crisis, and the proposal that we're discussing today does not resolve nor does it reflect the crisis that we have right round the corner in 2012. This is a very tight budget. It's going to be very tight if you look at the needs that Europe has. And the governments believe the opposite. The second problem with this draft budget is that it is held hostage to the political commitments made to the very powerful. It's spending more on security policy than education. It's supporting larger economic groups more than small and medium-sized enterprises. It's channeling more resources to international pharmaceutical companies than it is to university medical research. We appreciate the effort made by the rapporteur, but please understand we cannot support this budget. President, just a few words on the budget of this <laughs> parliament. For the first time, an effort is being made to cut expenditure. And that's why I don't understand why we have left aside the expenditure incurred with members themselves. The proposal is to cut 21 million euros from I interpretation and translation expense. The consequences will be gr grave for employment and will jeopardize multilingualism. And we haven't even thought about affecting the funding we have for our office expenses. Most people in this institution defend austerity policies. In some countries this is leading to mass unemployment. It's leading to 20 to 30 percent cuts in salaries and pensions. Given the context of social injustice and such huge difficulties, how can we stand true to this principle, this unwritten rule that our wages are sacred? How do we want to portray an image to our citizens with this kind of policy? Worse still, how can we look our citizens in the eye? What kind of approach can we take when addressing our citizens? The Parliament continues to say that its own wages are sacred. This is irresponsible and it's socially insensitive. In three hours we will be voting with our conscience. My conscience, ladies and gentlemen, has not been kidnapped by my wallet.